got me down again So today we're starting our trip. We are not where we wanted to be for the first night of our trip. We come up Friday night and we've had to start our trip at Shane's Bridge just outside of Lacola. As you can see, it's one of the sort of open campgrounds. Why are we here? Well, we're here because of Barra GU, Mr. George, and his car. So, blew a radiator yesterday, and I picked up another one on the way. So, their removal has already started. Fun games. Fun and games. With the Second, oh yeah, so yesterday on the way up, he's been complaining about a rear diff, as if you watched the Terrafab sessions, you would have seen he change the centre, um, and he noticed noises, or whining or whatever after that, and he, yeah, realised that it's no good, so they also got a new centre brought up by Peter yesterday who's having his own issues and we haven't even started this trip but um yeah so we're hoping this radiator can get fixed we're planning to start on Burgoyne's track we didn't because they were heading there and the radiator blew so uh it's uh getting removed now and hopefully it works so uh what happened buddy what do you want to know uh, just why does this keep happening to you george <laughs> that i can't answer <laughs> i um i don't know about that but yeah it's not been a very well, it's been a very eventful it hasn't been a great great weekend for me as you know we um blew the diff about a month ago Changed to three nines to get around, put some four threes back in there for before the trip, and then driving and well driving it for the couple of days prior to the trip, I knew something didn't really seem right with it. But I mean, I'm not really mechanically minded, and I didn't want to sort of jump to conclusions. But on the way up here, sitting in the car with Rooster, um, he noticed started to get like the rear diff started to have some bad vibrations in it, and we picked out the noise that I thought was um, a problem. And um, lo and behold, got up to La Cola uh, the Thursday night, realised the diff was no good. So Rooster was able to contact Damo from ORC, arrange another 4-3 uh, diff. But Peter was coming up first thing in the morning, so we had to use a payphone to send a text. So anyone obviously out in the bush, whatever, they got a payphone like they've got in La Cola. There's no reception. You can send people text messages. So that's pretty much what saved us. Um, got onto Peter, sent him a text message saying, please go down a demo at ORC first thing in the morning. So hold your trip back. Organise another 4-3. Brought it up here, changed it over, job's done. We get going to actually start some four-wheel driving. And we got over the bridge, chains, and then the first, very first track. So I'd say not even five minutes up it. Car cooked itself uh, really badly. And I've blown the radiator top off completely. And yeah, look at that. Just there's the loop. So yeah, see, which I thought was going to be my trip done for the um, for the weekend, but um, 
rule again. Man, we actually, it happened on a section where we had a lot of reception. So that was a cracker. Rue got back on a demo from ORC, uh, managed to arrange a, another radiator at 20 to five. And um, you this time came to the party and decided, because you were coming in, decided to go pick it up and uh, bring it down to us. So here's the new rad sitting in there. We've got uh, five litres of coolant now. We've got five litres of coolant in my car as well. So Rue's trying to rip this out while I'm organising some breakfast because that's a fair trade, I think. Hey, Rue? I don't yeah. know. With your cooking, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, looks. we're going to try and put this radiator in, and if I haven't done any damage to the head gasket, um, we're good. But if not, uh, this is pretty much us. Yeah, Time will tell. Big shout-out to Damo from 4x4 ORC. Yeah, yeah, Off -road true. Off-road clinic in Helen. Yeah, so Come thanks. through with the goods every time we need it. Yeah, thanks, thanks to Damo for both, both of those. If it wasn't for him, we, we would be towing home. So thank you, Damo. Put that in. Yeah. So what's going on over here? Something uh, from... Can explain. The rule is no new modifications two weeks before a trip. Two weeks before a trip. So what did he do? <laughs> he thought he'd install a new, week, new inch a week before a trip. Not even days. days before. <laughs> so what's the issue? What's going on? We're blowing fuses from... Right. There's a winch going in and out. Mid. So what the issue was, we have too much stuff piggybacked off one thing. So everyone, everyone's pinching power, it's all coming into one cable. Yeah. It's too much. So now we've run a new wire in. So we spread the load. Everybody's happy. We hope. Happy yeah. days. Happy days. So, wind the rope on and see if it lasts that long. Yeah, so, but now the only issue is you can use the winch without having your compressor on because I've taken that away. You know how you had to have the compressor on to take the freeze ball off? Uh, now yeah. you can accidentally try wind the winch in without having your compressor on. So you make sure if you're winching, you've got compressor on. Yeah, so I can pull it and just fucking keep doing it. So they've gone for a little burn around the block, test the temps. And it apparently is holding temp on. No pressure. Yeah, it's good. That means it's not going to pop the top off again. So the barrow's having problems still. We've uh, replaced the coolant radiator, but uh, on the first sort of track where we're doing a bit of climbing, the temps are raising up to about 108 now. So uh, George is thinking of calling it quits before we go any further. So we'll see what happens. <laughs>
we're on our way to Mount Useful. We can see there's some s snow on the um, on the peaks there, so we should see snow this trip, which is great. Probably won't be much, but anyway, it'll be better than nothing. And then head out through to Mount Salma, and um, yeah, we probably have to start looking at a camp after that. So George has gone home. Uh, he's Barrow was just overheating again, so unfortunately RIP Barrow for the trip. So yeah, we're heading to the snow. Here we go. Amy, I want to find a big log or a rock. Flex up photo. We come in this way, didn't we? I don't think so. I thought I remember going past that little creek thing. Visual take to the shelter. There's no denying what we want. There's no denying what we want. Playing games, no. There's no denying what we want. There's no denying what we want. Playing games, no. There's no denying what we want. Abandoned plans of getting to the top of Mount Useful and then heading across to Mount Salma. Time sort of against us at the moment, and one of the parties not feeling well, so uh, we are heading down on S16 track, and we're in the final section. It's a bit steep here, so a bit of one low, let it go. Um, hopefully, we can find a camp on the Aberfeldy River. So. Right now, so we've got a bit of a campsite happening down on the Aberfeldy, just off S16 track. Certainly interesting. We've camped up on a little embankment here. As you can see, the river's like running right next to us. Kids are throwing the rocks in. We've got a little walkway to gain access to the next campsite. Yeah. Yes, something to add? <laughs> so we've uh, lost Barra GU obviously, so we're one car down. We've got Peter set up over here. It is a bit muddy out here. It's been wet, so what can you expect? a bit of pasta pretty quick and simple meal we've got to camp a bit late and probably set up a bit too late so nice easy one we've got some homemade sauce that my grandmother makes which is bloody unbelievable um, I usually make it with just like a can of tuna I don't put uh, minced meat I have not brought the, I didn't bring the tuna, I forgot the tuna, so I've got a bit of suppressor salami, just going to cut a, a bit of that and put that in with the sauce, so yeah, the jet boil, this thing I'm loving, boil up, just put it on, as you can see there's some bubbles probably still form about to form so it shouldn't be long till we've got some pasta boiling 
So water's about to boil. It is boiling. I've got the uh, sauce ingredients ready, so a little bit of onion, garlic, and there's that salami suppressor into the sauce. That'll go in that pan. But now we put the pasta, and I've got a linguine. Now time for the sauce. So. I don't use, it would be good uh, to do this all at once, so have pasta going and sauce at the same time, serve it straight up. So, because I like a simple setup, I run just the one, the one cooker. I do the pasta, and then I'll do the sauce. The sauce doesn't take too long. Yes, the pasta may cool, but putting hot, hot uh, sauce on the pasta is gonna warm that up again. Um, so, that's the way I work it works for me so time for some pasta this is our little new oil canister we've done a little bit of a mini redo of our setup because we just found that um, it wasn't working well so a little bit of olive oil And we get going. He cries when Demon goes to the chops. Gus goes. <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> He's filming you. Yeah. Just like Damien. Does. Because I'm famous. All of a sudden, I've been joined by <laughs> the clowns of the of the group. <laughs> anyway, the pasta's ready. Yum. So, ready, what's got this is why people like, are here now because the food is finished ready, before not, when it's prepare time not be five nobody's five coming to hang out with me when there's preparing to do that. so any words no. Yes. <laughs> no. nothing I want pasta I just want to say something. Oh, let's eat <laughs> so Sunday morning we are packed up and ready to go we're going to head to Mount Skeen today. It's probably going to be a short day of driving because uh, we want to set up camp a bit earlier today and kick back. So we're on the Aberfeldy, head through, I think, Mount Selma and then up to Mount Skeen. So we'll see how we go. <laughs>
skiing, had lunch uh, on the little offshoot of Barkley River Jeep track, and now we're heading to camp. So we're looking at Crow's Hut. Hopefully that's free, we can camp there. It's supposed to be a good spot. So it's really nice out here today. So, just had a bit of a knocking noise coming from the 200 series and realised that the rear shock bolt has come out. So the shock is loose at the top. So I think we're going to take it out and then maybe sort it out at camp. Loose shocker. Hey, that's so shocking. You gotta yeah. love when the shocks that's fall shocking. out. Shocking. This shocking. What is up? So we've found the camp, Crow's Hut. Burnsy put us onto it. He's uh, camped here before. So, pretty good spot. We're pretty much set up, which is good, so we can kick back for the day. Tonight's dinner is going to be very nice. I'm really looking forward to this one. We've got some eye fillet steak, or maybe it's scotch fillet, I'm not sure. We're gonna do some potatoes. Uh, probably do them into like wedges or chips. And to top it all off, we're gonna have some mushroom sauce as well. So kick back, let me take you through this, okay guys? What I'm going to be doing is boiling up the potatoes so they soften and then chuck them in the pan. Uh, make them into wedges, I guess, like that. And then, and then the onion is going to go into a mushroom sauce. So I've got uh, just some brown mushrooms, add a bit of garlic, and I've got some capsicum that I will add to that. So that'll go with the sauce. So I'm putting the potatoes on first because they're going to take the longest and then I'm going to work on the mushroom sauce and then the steak last on the fire. So the steaks are marinating. Just put a bit of uh, salt, pepper, Italian herbs, garlic and some onion salt on them. Chopped up onion for the mushroom sauce. Capsicum, mushrooms, a little bit of tomato in there as well. Potatoes are on the boil. We are cooking with propane, I guess, not gas. Potatoes are almost boiled. I'm gonna start the mushroom sauce for it shortly. So onion goes in first, and then pretty much once that softens a bit, mushrooms, capsicum, then the garlic. I add sort of a little bit afterwards to get better flavor out of it. And then uh, I'll put the potatoes on to, to cook as uh, wedges. And then the steaks on the fire. Mushroom sauce is done. And now the I guess you'd call them wedges. Uh, frying away. Once that's done, steak on the fire and we're sorted. All right, steaks are done. Everything's done. Potatoes, mushroom sauce, steak, all done. Let's eat. 
So it's Monday morning. Rained all night last night. Absolutely bucketed down, was quite windy as well. So yeah, we'll be packing up in the wet, that's for sure. First some brekkie. We've got to go down one track to get across the wood pond okay. and then up the other side. And you said that's steep. It's it's going, going down, it's going down steep. Going down is fine, yeah. it's going up. Yeah. Which track? Uh, what was it after Black and River? Was it Weber? Weber yeah. Spur. Alright, uh, we'll go see. If we get to a point where it ain't working, we'll have to pull it apart. Yeah, we'll just pull it So, Peter's. Electrical issues are back, the rear locker's not working, which in turn means the winch isn't working, so we got one more track to do before we get out of here, but it's downhill, so we should be alright.
Get high, go. Go forward. Covering uh, Al over there in the 200, so he started sliding down and just went into the bank over there. So I think we're going to, I think we're going to get it up and turn around because apparently it gets worse down there. So engage, engage. Plan. <laughs> hey? Well, that's what we're trying to do. The best would be to, if I could get right up there, put an extension strap and get against the tree and then pull. Hey, what about if we got 13 further up?
Hands up. A little bit of drive. angle so I've gone further up the hill I had to turn around as you will have seen in the video and we've hooked up to a tree if you can have a look there so double strap off that tree with tension I've just run out of rope so we might have to add a little uh, strap onto that extension and then hopefully this gets him back on track so fingers crossed
that other purple strap, bring it down here, hook it to the D shackle of the orange one and tie it to a tree. We'll let him go and we'll bring the winch rope all the way down to the orange strap. Just stay there, just put the handbrake on and it'll probably slide down so we tie it to a tree before we let it go. Snatch block off the winch of Orkney. Damo just in his element there. And then what we've done is we've tied Damo to a tree to stop him from getting sucked back down where all the action is. Yeah, hang on, Baba.
got out of Woods Point, went for a beer at the pub, and now we're airing up. So that's the end of the trip. A little bit of uh, recovery effort down there at the end. Uh, it was a good trip, quite wet. Last night it rained all night. Um, so yeah, we packed up wet, everything's wet. We're gonna have to wear that out when we get home. And then, yeah, that's it, so airing up. The other two guys have headed their own way. We're going a different way, so finished.